Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Laura Three Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and today I'm here with my 200 drawing prompts flip through. I actually finished this book. I loved it. I really, really enjoyed it. And today we're going to be seeing every single page that I that I drew. And as far as materials, I did use only colored pencils. And towards the end, I did use a little bit of Posca pens because those don't seep through the pages. But for the most part, it was mainly the colored pencils. So let's get through this book. I really, really enjoyed it, like I said. And well, let's see all the pages and every single drawing that I made. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. And with that said, let's get started. Okay, so for the first page, it said to draw some angel wings and I decided to draw an angel with huge, huge wings. Okay, so for this page, I was supposed to draw the Dr. Seuss hat and I went with the cat in the hat hat. On the next page, it asks to draw your reflection. So I went ahead and drew myself on a mirror, of course, in cartoon character, but kind of like if I'm taking a selfie. For these pages, I needed to draw an asteroid and the Milky Way and well, I just went ahead and made these two simple drawings and I used a little bit of Posca's to draw like little stars all around. On this page, it says comic book cover and of course I went with the Archie comic book cover. This is just something simple that I threw together, but I really liked it. And over here, I needed to draw a lotus flower and this is what I drew. Okay, so this next page, it says looking through a keyhole and I went ahead and drew an eye, kind of like somebody's peeking through there. I really like this one. It's kind of interesting. And then on the next page, I had to draw the tree of life and I have to say I hate this page. I, I had kind of an idea what I should draw, but once I drew it, I didn't like it and I really don't like this one at all. Okay, so this one says something with two heads and I decided to draw a two-headed hammer and then on the other side it was a lightsaber and well this is what I came up with. Now this page it said to draw the reaper so I just went ahead and drew like the reaper's face and then on the other page it was the fountain of youth and I drew a fountain and was able to throw in a coin in it. Man on the moon and that's exactly what I drew. And for this other page, it says lightning strike. And so I just drew lightning like in 3D and just, I just chose this green color because I liked it. Okay, so for this page, I had to draw a goddess. So I went with a kind of like a Greek goddess vibe. And uh, on the other page, I went ahead and drew the psych uh, psychedelic uh, porter, which I'm not very convinced on this one, but I mean, I did what I could. This one I had to draw a view from the top, so I just went with a leaf and it has a ladybug on it, so I guess it works. And this one is actually one of my favorites, which is a masquerade mask, and I did use some uh, metallic marker for this one and a little bit of Posca for the edges, but I really, really like this page. It says to draw Poseidon, and well, I drew him, just kind of like scribbled him, I guess it works. And then I had to draw a jackal and I kind of did the same thing. I just used like a lot of brown in these two pages to make them combine. And this one I had to draw deer antlers and of course I just drew one and then a medusa and I used a variety of greens just to color it all. The prompt for this one was carousel and I just drew something very simple but cute. And on the other side I had to draw a voodoo doll so I drew a girl with her voodoo doll. And then on this one, I had to draw a tiki, so I drew this one, very simple, but I liked it. And on the other side, I had to draw a sugar skull, and I drew her. This one, I had to draw abstract art, and I just kind of went with it because I really, I really don't like this type of drawing, but I mean, I did what I could. And then for the other page, it was, I had to draw Aladdin's lamp, so this is what I came up with. And on this page, it was Tooth Fairy, and I literally drew a Tooth Fairy. <laughs> I thought it was super cute. To draw blueprints, and I did the blueprints to a home where I used to live. 
Okay, so on this next page, I had drawn a sideburn and I really don't like it. <laughs> I, I hate this drawing, but I mean, whatever. And then a totem pole, and this was kind of cute, super simple. It reminded me of my childhood drawing those. And then over here, I had to draw the Magic Kingdom. So I just drew kind of like a castle with the Mickey ears. And uh, I, I thought it was cute, so simple. Most of my drawings are very simple, but I mean, I liked it. And then on this one, it was a beach scene, and I really, really liked this drawing. This one, the prompt was Pac-Man game, and of course, I just drew kind of the video game, the way, you know, that you see it when you play it, basically. And then I had to draw my zodiac sign, and I'm a Virgo, so I went ahead and drew this. On the next page, I had to draw a 3D shape, so I drew a cube, and on this one, an anaconda, and I really like this one. I actually thought I did a good job on this one. <laughs> Okay, this prompt is something upside down, so I drew a bag of popcorn and kind of like the popcorn is falling out. So, I like it. And then on the next page is a computer from the future. I hated this prompt because I had no idea what to draw and I just went ahead and got like an, some ideas from Google and this is what I came up with. This one is bright idea, so I just went ahead and kind of, kind of went with like the great idea kind of thing. So I drew a light bulb, so like somebody's like, oh, I have an idea. The Grand Canyon. So this is what I drew for that. Okay, so these two pages I really enjoyed. I had to draw a lion and I also had to draw the Mad Hatter, which I didn't draw the full Mad Hatter. I kind of just went with a hat, but I really like how it came out. This one, the prop is football, and I just drew a little girl playing football. Uh, I thought it was cute, something different, you know. Instead of just a ball, I drew a little girl holding the ball. And the next prop is dollar bill, and I actually drew three dollar bills. But, uh, very simple, but I like it. Okay, so this page, the prompt is koala, so I went ahead and drew the nozzles, which is one of my favorite childhood um, cartoons from the 80s, and I really, really, I think, I, I dare say this is my favorite page from the whole book. And then, um, on the other side, I had to draw a hummingbird, and well, this is what I came up with. My husband actually liked this one a lot, so I guess I did good. <laughs> Okay, for the next prompt is Woolly Mammoth, and this is what I came up with. It looks kind of funny, but I mean, I like it. And then the next prompt is Giraffe, and I just drew this giraffe holding a daisy. I really like this page. Okay, so for these two pages, the prompts were Wishing Whale and a Bullseye. So this is what I came up with. I had to draw a bouquet of roses, and I actually did it on Mother's Day, so... I drew it, you know, kind of like a Mother's Day, so I did like put like a Mother's Day card, and um, I don't know, I liked it. And then for the next one, I had to do the Aurora Borali Sky, and I had no idea what to draw for this, so I kind of got an idea from uh, Google, so yeah, this is what I came up with. Okay, so for the next one, I had to do a boombox, and this is what I came up with. I did have a boombox back in the 80s, so I kind of did like a replica of that, or somewhat. But I really liked it. And for the next one, the prompt was ticket stop, and I just went with a classic admit one ticket. So yeah, this is what I made. Next prompt was captain's hat, and I just did a classic captain's hat, nothing very detailed just like very classic and then it was something nautical and rather than doing something nautical as far as like a boat or anything like it i went ahead and drew a octopus and honestly this is one of my favorite drawings in the book okay so the next one was banjo and i hate this one i cannot do circles at all so yeah this is what i came up with and then i also had to draw a bowling alley and pins which i really just did the bowling ball and pins but I like it. This next one, it was Labyrinth. So I did a Labyrinth and I did the black lines as far as the Labyrinth and then the orange was the actual axis to it. So I don't know, it was very simple, but I liked it. And then on this other one, I had to do the Kraken. So I just did a boat and the Kraken kind of like reaching out to it, trying to get it. 
this one has to be one of my favorite pages in the book. This was one of the first pages that I did and it was an armadillo and I did an armadillo with just some cactus on there, kind of like a uh, desert vibe but I love it and then on this one was the Eiffel Tower I don't like it much but I mean it works okay so the next one is Jack in the Box and it's obviously a Jack in the Box and the next one is a goblet and I just drew some like purple uh, wine in it so I, it, I mean it's okay it's not my favorite but it works and for the next page, I had to do a mutant, and of course, I was going to do a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. I mean, there was no way I was going to do anything else. And then on the next page, it was with Willow, so I just did this, and I mean, I didn't like it much, but it worked. And then on this page, it was scraping hooks, so I did this, and you can see I actually used a silver marker, and uh, you know, to make it like shiny, and, and I liked it. And then on this other side, it was Shepherd. So I drew a Shepherd with his little lamb. The prompt was your country's flag. And of course, I made the USA flag with just stars, you know, red, white, and blue. And then on this page, it had to be a water slide. So I just did like a pool with a big water slide. Okay, here was a Digidero. I can't even pronounce it. I'm not familiar with it, but I Googled and I drew it. And uh, this is what I came up with. As far as the other page, it had to be power lines. So I did power lines. I did kind of like a, uh, just like a street with power lines going. I used perspective or I tried to. So I actually like this page. It's something different, something I wouldn't have drawn before. Okay, so this page is an Olympic medal. And like I said, I cannot draw lines at all, so I did what I could, but yeah. So, Olympic medal. And then a warrior. I actually was gonna do, draw a man on this one, but I don't know. I thought women are strong too, so I ended up making a woman. And I think it looks awesome, and I love this page. We're going to the next prompt. I had to draw a stop sign, and I literally drew a stop sign. I mean, what else would I draw, right? And then I drew a piñata, which I don't like it much, but I do like the stick. I do like the palo for the piñata, so, I mean, it works. For this page, I had to draw a coliseum, and I drew the arena coliseum. And then I drew an artichoke for this page, which was what the prompt requested. And then I drew a brushel of carrots for this one and a bubbling cauldron on this one i wasn't sure how to draw this but uh i mean at the end i really really liked it i think it looks really awesome okay so for the next page i had to draw a crystal ball and i drew this crystal ball with a bunch of crystals inside and i did use a bunch of like fluorescent colors in it and i think it worked really well but yeah this is one of my favorite pages i love it Okay, this prop is alphabet soup, so I went ahead and drew a bowl of soup. Of course, the letters I chose to have my name on them, and yeah, I just made the soup, the spoon, and I made it kind of like it was on a chair with a table, and I did draw a lemon next to it. Okay, so the next prop is rubber ducky in a bubble bath, and this one almost looks like I took it out of a coloring page, but I promise I didn't. I actually drew that. <laughs> and then and we have red riding hood. The next page is flamingo, so I drew a flamingo, a really cute flamingo with a flower and then the fleur de lis, which I hate this drawing, but I mean, I just did it because I had to. And then we have Noah's Ark, which is a couple of giraffes and a couple of, of elephants. It, it, it's cute. I wish I would have drawn more animals, but I didn't. And then we have a lit candle. Very simple, but I mean, I did what it was asking on the page to do. And on this other page, we have the hourglass. Once again, very simple. I feel like all my drawings are really simple. <laughs> and we also have the three blind mice, which of course I did the three little mice with uh, eyeglasses. Okay, so for this page, it was honeycomb and I drew a honeycomb with some honey and some bees. This is actually the only page that I used marker on and it was 
showing in the back so i stopped this is the only page that i did that for i already like it though and then i made a compass on the other side and now we have a comet and i just drew like a bunch of like fluorescent stars and on this side we have a snow globe which i just did like a christmas theme one on this page i had to draw a stone hedge and this is what i came up with this is definitely not one of my favorite drawings but i mean it works and moving on we had to draw your school mascot so i went with the mccallum bulldogs and of course that was a high school that i went to so i drew like the name and then i drew the bulldog and then we have a, a racetrack which i don't like much but i mean i did what i could and then we have a megaphone and i just added the word school team on it and we have a mohawk so i drew this guy with a big mohawk and i love this picture okay so the next prop is candelabra and i just did exactly that and i did it kind of like a gothic theme just like a silver with spider webs with the red uh, candles and of course i did a purple background the theme on this one is dream car so i went with a Kind of like a Care Bears vibe on this car, even though it's not exactly the Care Bears car. And then on um, the next one, it's rainy day, so I just did some flowers, and you know, it's raining. The theme for this one is tugboat, and we have a tugboat, of course. <laughs> and then we have the ship's anchor, and I did add a little bit of copper on this one, but it doesn't really show. But I mean, the the drawing itself is okay. Then we have Dreamcatcher. This one is also one of my favorite drawings. I love the colors in it. So yeah, it's a dream catcher. And on the other side, we have a cobra head, which I did a little bit more of the body, but you know, the, the prop itself was the cobra head. Okay, for the next page is Rusty Truck. And I believe I made it rusty. I love the colors. I love the combination of colors on this one. And I just did like the, you know, kind of, kind of like a bit abandoned, you know, without like the broken pieces and everything. The Texas plates, of course. And then on the next page, it was potato head. And I just went with a classic potato head. And now we have the Cheshire cat with, I went ahead and, and just made kind of like the face. But I love the colors on this one. I used uh, Prisma colors on this. And I just blended it out and I love how it looks. And then we have a polka dot bow tie, which I did this little dog creature you know i i don't know i could have just done the ball but i really like this creature somehow i just it just came to me but uh, i really love this character okay so for this page i had to draw a party hat and i just did that very simple with confetti and then on this other page it was barracuda which is pretty huge but i like how it came out and i, I really like the colors and everything so it works Okay, for the next page, the prompt is Piranha, so I went ahead and made a Piranha, and it's very cartoonish, but I really like it. And then we have Coffin, which I could have just done the Coffin, but I kind of went more with like a tattoo vibe with a flower and the rib and, you know, the little uh, ribbon that says rib, rest in peace. But uh, yeah, I, I really like this page. It's It has like a like really like a combination of everything I think works really nicely. Okay, so the next theme is Scary Shadow, and I just did little girls kind of like scared and against the wall with a scary shadow crawling up on her. I, I really like this picture. It's, it's once again very simple, but I like it. And then we have Maze for the next page, and I just did like a classic, you know, like a little girl trying to get to her house and just with a big maze. is utopia and honestly i had no idea what to draw for this one so i kind of went on google and looked at images so this is what i came up with but i really did had no idea what to draw for it and then for the next page we have the brass scuba helmet which i actually love how this picture came out i used a lot of like browns and coppers and i think it works okay so the next prompt is lobster and this is what i came up with i really like that picture and i also love this uh the cherry blossoms for the next page i really really like how they both look together even though lobsters and cherry blossom will probably never be together <laughs> i i like how the, the whole spread look time for this one is park bench so i did just that i don't really like that one and then we have a hula dancer which i which her face would have came out uh, looking a little nicer she kind of looks mean <laughs> but i mean the whole page works we have a slice of pie and i just drew a really cute slice of pie uh that's one of the first ones that i drew actually and then we 
I had to draw something bohemian on this page and I just drew like different symbols and so what up bohemian and then we had to draw something bursting into flames and I just drew a flaming heart and we have a chandelier on the next page and I just kind of like scribble something on once again I I didn't really take more than five minutes on that and then we have the ice skates which i really don't like the ice skates the way they came out so i just went ahead and added some snowflakes to kind of take away from them and then we have the tree roots underground and once again i hate this page i think it came out really ugly but i mean it's roots and now we have a locket and i really like how these two pages combined uh, I just drew a baby, like a locket with a baby inside, and I think it was really cute. I really like the, the, the colors that I used for this, and I also used kind of like the same colors for the other pages. It was a uh, class ring, so I kind of made like the whole uh, two pages like kind of go together. But yeah, so once again, I I went to Mac High, um, High, Mac Callen High School, Mac High, so I went with the Bulldogs uh, ring with the purple and the gold. Okay, so the next page is kimono. So I just drew a girl wearing a pink kimono. And then on the other page, it is a nerdy glasses. So I just went with some circular black classic, very classic. Okay, so the next prompt is solar system. And I just got this off of Google. So if it's not correct, it's not my fault. <laughs> and then the next page is fireflies. And I just made some fireflies in inside of a jar. And I did use a fluorescent yellow for the, the light up part of them. So I think I think this page looks cute. Very simple but cute. We have the witch's brew, and I just did like a cup with you know it says witch's brew with a little hat with a little broom, and of course the witch's broom with a bone sticking out. Okay, for the next prompt, it is wooden clogs, and I just drew some wooden clogs on a mat. Okay, so for the next page, we have cassette uh, cassette tape. And so, yeah, that's exactly what I drew. And I love the colors on this one. And I just wrote the words 90s best hits. And then we had to draw a Celtic design. And I did, did just that. Um, this other page is boomerang. And I, I, I did a very simple drawing, but I do love the colors. And then we have the centipede, which, of course, is missing a lot of the feet, but <laughs> it works. And then we have a dark alley for this one. I really don't like this page. I don't really don't like dark pages, but I mean, so I just added a little bit of light like towards the end. And then we have, of course, a locomotive. And I like the colors in this one. It's very simple, but I think it's something that would actually be like in a child's book. Okay, for the next page, just something imaginary. And I tried drawing Ramona, but I did mess up her eyes and I couldn't fix them. So I really don't like how she came out. But the whole page itself is about her and her imaginary pet lizard. So that's why she has that rope pulled, like holding as if it was a pet. But in reality, it's imaginary. So yeah, this is something imaginary for this page. And then we have the baseball diamond, which I hated drawing this thing. It didn't come out nice at all. And now we have leprechaun. And I kind of went with like the Lucky Charms leprechaun vibes. It doesn't look exactly like him, but I mean, I, I really like this page. And I just added the rainbow because I thought it would look super nice. So yeah, I, I love how it looks though. The next page is internal clock mechanism. So I just did a few gadgets. Nothing, nothing pretty i don't think but <laughs> it works i did what it was asking and then we have santa sled and i just did it like kind of like christmasy theme you know of course it's santa sled you know and i just added like the gifts the snow and the christmas lights i think it works well together and then for this page i had to draw a satellite so i didn't want to just draw the satellite so i just went ahead and added like kind of like the earth out there as well and on this page it was something melting so i drew a snowman that is melting and asking for help so hopefully somebody helps that little guy and then we have a palace and i just drew something super fast super simple now we have a padlock and i hate that the other page is transferring because of the black that's why i don't really like using black a lot but the padlock itself is cute and to this the next page is dartboard and i hate it but i mean i drew it because i had to but i really don't like this page at all it's a factory and i just drew a simple factory in a way with all the smog and everything it, I, I don't like it and then inside the refrigerator this was very fun just kind of reminding you know, what i have inside my refrigerator so i just went with that but I, I really like this one it came out real colorful 
Okay, so going to the next page, we have a first place ribbon. I just did a very classic, you know, first place blue and yellow ribbon. And then we have a quilted blanket in pink and blue. So I, I like it. It's, it's very simple. And now we have the maracas for this page. And we also have the jackpot. And for this one, I just did like a jackpot sign. And I love how the yellow looks. Uh, I, I put little yellow stars. You can barely see them, but those are actually shiny. I used the shiny uh, glitter Posca, and it looks really nice. Okay, so the next prompt is star constellations. So I just drew, you know, this like bunch of stars. And then on the next page, it is nightmare. So I just kind of did like a person, you know, in bed, super scared because he's having a nightmare. Okay, so moving on, we have tiger claws, and I just did, you know, the classic tiger claws, and I kind of like the page ripping. I don't think that worked well, but I mean, that's what I was going for. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like the page. I mean, overall, I like it, and it came out terrible, so it works. And then we have the Titanic, and of course, I drew the Titanic classic yellow, uh, blue, red, and black with the iceberg in the back. This page, it has you uh, your favorite logo, and this might not be my favorite logo, but it is a logo that I think is very cute. So I just went with a, a wildlife logo, and then we have the famous sign. So I went with the Pizza Hut sign, and I just drew some pizzas on the page. Okay, so then the next page is the Rastafarian. This is one of my favorite pages. I love how the girl came out. I love her nose. I love her freckles, her eyebrows her hat everything i just love that page and we have the laboratory page and i just did like a bunch of things that you would find in the lab and you know a chalkboard with like different things or words that would be in a lab okay so going to the next prompts it is the abyss and poker chips i hate these two pages i had no idea what to draw for the abyss so i went something with google i hate it and then i had to draw poker chips and it's super crooked i didn't even try but yeah this, these two pages are just bad this is the next prompt is loaf of bread and I just drew a cute loaf of bread with his little uh, butter person there scared <laughs> and then I draw wild animals and I just drew a javelina okay so moving on to the next page it is faces of the moon and I just did the different faces very simple I didn't even use different colors or anything but it, it works and now we have the roulette wheel and this one I actually like I like the colors in it and I just drew you know like the winner the loser the amount of money and such but uh, it's very simple, but it works. Okay, so the next prompt is Orchid, and I really like this one. It's very simple, but I think it came out really cute. And then we have the biplane, which I just noticed that I'm missing lines on the tire. Okay, so the next prompt is Banana Split, and this is actually one of the first ones that I drew, and I love it. And we have a laughing donkey. Is something funny, so I chose to draw Curious George with a hat and a banana. I don't know, he went to a party, he has a party hat, and then he has a balloon. I, I like this page. I thought it came out really cute. Next prompt is your closet, and I just withdrew my closet. The, exactly the way that I would see it when I opened the door is exactly how I drew it. You know, there's towels, there's boxes, there's albums, there's clothes, there's shoes. The next prompt is dream house, and this obviously is not my dream house now, but when I was a little girl, I always dreamed of having a tree house, so I went with that. And I kind of went with the um, bears thing bears kind of house because that's the one I imagined having. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I went for. And this is kaleidoscope, and I just drew a super colorful kaleidoscope. I used to have these things when I was small. We should like I should always buy them. So yeah, I just drew like colors on top as well. Okay, so the next prompt is a new cartoon character. I was in Starter, I was supposed to make my own or draw something new. So I just went with like the newest cartoon out there or somewhat of the newest, which is Encanto. And I drew Mirabel uh, Madrigal from the movie Disney Encanto. And I just drew her butterflies and, you know, just like little specks here and there to make it look magical. On this page, I did use my glitter Puskas and I don't think you can see it, but in person it looks super nice. It shines a lot. So moving on, we have a time capsule and I just did a very basic time capsule. Okay, so moving on to the next page, the prompt is panda bear and I just did this little chubby panda eating his bamboo. And then this one, I had to draw something futuristic and I drew Rosie Robot from the Jetsons. And even though she's a vintage character now, I mean, at, in the show, she's supposed to be futuristic. So that's why I went with drawing her.
And moving on to the next prompt, we have UFO. So I just this, did this little uh, alien character, a little UFO uh, and a planet. I, I like it. I really like this drawing. It's very simple, but I like it. And then we have the postage stamp. And I just did something, once again, very simple, but I like it a lot. I love the colors that I use for this one. So the next prompt is crow's nest on a pirate ship. So I did the crow's nest. And I just drew, you know, some flags, you know, the pirate flag, and of course, uh, the uh, little pirate looking out through the crow's nest. So yeah, it works. And I had to draw a purple people eater, and I drew this character eating a person. You could see the little feet and the little hand sticking out of his mouth. I like it. Okay, so going to the next page, it was sunset, and this is what I came up with. I don't like it a lot, but... I mean, I, I just basically did what I had to do on this one because I, I, it's not my favorite page at all. To the next prompt, it's coat of arms. And once again, I had no idea what to draw, so I just kind of Googled some ideas and this is what I came up with. And it, the next page is Excited Face. And I drew this girl very much like Archie vibes, but uh, it, it works. She's, she looks excited. And then for the next page is Lucky Dice, and I just did some little pink dice. Okay, so moving on to the next page, it is Animated Martian, and I just did this little uh, Martian, this little alien person. And apparently he loves the Earth People treats. He loves candy apples, ice cream, just a bunch of treats. He even likes tacos. <laughs> And he's holding a lollipop. So yeah, I do love this page a lot. I just did like different treats as you can see. Moving on to the next prompt. It is circus tent. And I just did a very simple circus tent. And for the last prompt, we have skyline. And I just did this skyline in black. And I just did the rest in orange. I love the colors for this one. It was very Halloweenish, but I really, really like this page. So yeah, these were my 200 drawing prompts already finished. I really enjoyed this book. If you haven't uh, tried something like this, you should really try it. I know there's one with 500 uh, prompts. I have not found that one, but um, this one took me, took me a while, but it was actually, I finished it quicker than I thought I would, and I really enjoyed it. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.